Nigeria. Muslim students in northwestern Nigeria killed Christian classmate for blaspheming the Prophet Muhammad. Muslim students of the Shehu Shigari College of Education in the northwestern Nigerian city of Sokoto brutally killed their Christian classmate after accusing her of blaspheming the Prophet Muhammad in a recent social media post. Deborah Samuel reportedly called the Prophet a thug on WhatsApp. After school authorities hid Samuel in a secured room, a mob of students broke into it, took her outside, beat her with sticks, stoned her, and burned her alive. The murder was recorded and shared on social media. Two suspects have been arrested and authorities say all others involved in the crime will be brought to justice. Kenya. Kenyan High Court orders the government to disclose details of standard gauge railway contract with Chinese company. The High Court in Mombasa has ordered the Kenyan government to disclose to two Kenyan activists, Khalif Khalifa and Wanjiru Gikonyo, the details of the 450 billion shilling, 3.8 billion dollar standard gauge railway SGR project between Nairobi and Mombasa undertaken by the China Road and Bridge Corporation. According to the East African newspaper, Transport Principal Secretary Joseph Jaroge claims that the SGR contract has a non-disclosure agreement making reporting its details to the public a breach in contract. Justice John Mativo, however, asserted that Kenyan law does not provide special conditions for the government vis-a-vis -vis the private sector that would obviate it from disclosing public information. Mauritania. The UN puts Mauritania's slavery practices on notice. According to Fratmat newspaper, while visiting Mauritania for 10 days, Japanese international human rights expert and UN representative Tomoya Obokata recommended on Thursday Quote, more efforts will be needed to ensure that complaints of slavery are investigated and judgments rendered in a timely manner, that victims of slavery are informed of their rights and have access and practice to complaint mechanisms as well as protection and assistance, unquote. Obokata said he received information about enslaved people and their family members in Mauritania not being registered with the government, which dis denies them access to education, formal employment, and social services. Mauritania officially banned slavery in 1981 without including enforcement laws. Central African Republic. The African Development Bank no longer operating in the Central African Republic due to the nation's adoption of Bitcoin. On Tuesday, the African Development Bank, AFDB, suspended operations in the Central African Republic, CAR. During meetings in the CAR, representatives of the AFDB stated that the nation's recent adoption of Bitcoin as an official currency made conditions on the ground untenable for the continental financial institution. Somalia Somali Special Forces killed 17 Al-Shabaab insurgents in southern Somalia in 24 hours. A spokesperson for the Somalia National Army reported on Thursday that Somali Special Forces, Danab, killed 17 Al-Shabaab insurgents, wounded several more, and destroyed nine hideouts in Jubaland and other southwest states within 24 hours.